In this video, I am going to talk about balloon wall framing, and this is different than just a full height stud. Um, this is basically basically be used to hold up a floor, supportive floor, with a notched ribbon and a nailing the joist into the wall framing stud. So this would obviously require you to lay everything out right, and hopefully you don't have any doublers in here. You know, if you did have a double wall stud, um, you know, if you needed a doubler in here to, and you were going to use this type of framing, all you would need to do is put a couple of wall studs underneath the joist, obviously. But this isn't something that's used uh, anymore. I've only used it once, and this was probably in the early 80s. We were doing a commercial building, and... Uh, the I guess they decided that uh, full height studs would be better and we notched in the ribbons after the walls were framed not before what a pain in the butt and uh, to me it just really didn't make a lot of sense but uh, obviously it did to the engineer the architect so long time ago they used it I did some research on the web not going to take any of the credit on this but they said that uh, the word balloon framing or one of the persons uh, that suggested actually meant that the building could be lifted away by the way it's built, like a balloon um, carried away. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, they said it never has happened, so we can leave it at that. Uh, it does require a ribbon, usually a 1x4. Um, you could use a 1x6 notched into the wall framing. And then, of course, it is the joists are nailed to the wall studs um, with three or four 16 D or 16 penny nails. And they sit on top of the ribbon and get a nice uh, support here. And I've never seen a problem with this. So if you're saying, hey, wait a minute, this is a horrible form of framing. I've never heard of any of these buildings falling down or um, structural damage, stuff like that, that doesn't happen to a regular um, building um, framed up, a platform framing, which is our common type of construction. Here's the ribbon, a couple of nails. Um, you can probably use two 8D nails for this right here. And it will require a block. The block would be used for the uh, floor framing block, would be used to um, provide you with perimeter nailing on the plywood. There's the notch for the ribbon. Put it back in there. And uh, off to the top here. Um, fold the, usually the balloon framed walls stop just like a regular wall and they would either support a roof or another floor. But I would imagine you wouldn't go too far up. You know, you're not going to have 40 foot wall studs. If you're going to have a four story building like this, you'd probably have to break it up with a floor like this. And this kind of framing here is usually referred to as platform framing. And uh, there's another view of it. You will need fire blocks. I didn't put the fire blocks in over here, but you will need fire blocks. This was another problem a with a long time ago. These types of buildings, they wouldn't put any blocks in them. And uh, of course, a fire would start and uh, it could burn right through here and just keep going. So fire blocks are actually used to stop the fire from burning through here or grabbing fresh oxygen for those of you not familiar with that and what a fire block is probably won't be making a video on what a fire block is but who knows maybe i will in the future if uh, somebody needs one there's what it would look like without the floor or without the wall give you a better view ribbon again supporting the joist blocks for the perimeter nailing on with the plywood you put your piece of plywood down here You'll be able to nail into the block and that'll give you perimeter nailing, which is the perimeter of the floor usually requires a little closer nailing. You, you might need a 12 inch on center nailing in the field on the joist, but uh, around the edges where the plywood breaks and around the perimeter might require a closer nailing. For example, you might need six inches on center around the perimeter. So anyway, that's it for balloon wall framing. I made the video. I am going to attach a link to it here. Someone sent me a question. They wanted to know how you would remodel a balloon framed wall. And that's going to be another video that I will make and attach a link to it at the uh, end of the video here. 
So don't forget to check that video out also.